Welcome, developer. In this lesson, we are going to learn about da, 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 operators. Operators, while really not the most interesting in the world, uh, interesting subject in the world, is how do I explain this? It's the most important, most fundamental thing. The most I can't explain how important understanding operators is to programming because right now all we've ever used uh, is a little bit of string manipulation. We've created some variables. Oh, we've we might have written a few comments. Uh, nothing extraordinary. Uh, to be honest, it's all actually quite boring. The fun stuff. It's getting so close. But before we can do any of that, we need to know what an operator is. So programming, while not strictly mathematical is very very logical um, and because of that you cannot avoid not doing some math uh, you don't have to understand a lot of math to be a great programmer that's the truth uh, in fact a lot of programmers are actually quite terrible at math um, all they have to do is figure out the correct answer once throw it into uh, some chunk of code that gives them the the correct answer every single time and they never have to worry about it again that is the beautiful thing about programming is you don't have to be Einstein or Stephen Hawking or any sort of genius that has revolutionized the world. You can literally know very minimal math. And so some of the operators we're going to talk about today are super, super basic. Uh, we've got uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and we're going to get into a couple other ones. Uh, some of these are a little bit different. Uh, you may have not seen these. If you have been around programming a little bit, you might have seen some of these. Just remember to keep a little bit of an open mind here um, and try to be as logical, as analytical as you can possibly be. Because if you can turn on that logical part of your brain, this gets so much easier for you. So first, let's start with addition, right? If we do 12 plus 15, JavaScript gives us 27. Basic math. 12.5 plus 15.0123 gives us the exact answer we're looking for basic addition. Subtraction is absolutely no different, and we can give this any number in the world that we want. Right? We're going to give it some crazy numbers here. I just threw in random numbers. Let's look at this. Because this is such basic math, we just know that this is correct. This is not incorrect. So essentially, this is your calculator. But what if we said 15 divided by 5? Well, 5 goes into 15 three times. Basic math, right? I'm not here to teach, teach you math. I'm here to show you that this little operator sign is very important. What happens if we do 15 divided by 6? 2.5 gives us a float. 15 divided by 14.9. Whoops. <laughs> Did that wrong. 15. Let's try division. Gives us a pretty accurate number. But what if we wanted to get the remainder of something? That's a little trickier. So programming comes with this uh, operator called modulus. And so if we said 15 modulus, uh, let's say 4, right? How many times does 4 go into 15? Well, 3 times, so 4, 8, 12. And what is the remainder? 3. Gives us exactly what we're looking for. If we said 97 modulus 42, 42 goes into 97 twice with a remainder of 13. That's modulus. That's pretty nice. Uh, are you going to use that often? Honestly, throughout my career as a front-end developer, I have not used it that often. I've actually used it more on the back side than I have on the front side. Uh, that's not to say that you won't ever use it though. Okay, so I just cleared off the screen there. Um, let's create a variable. Age is equal to 67. Now, there are two more operators called uh, the incrementer and decrementer. And incrementer, increases, as the root word suggests, your number. Age, plus plus, that's what an incrementer looks like. Uh, here we go. Age plus plus, 68. What if we run it again? 69. What if we run it once more? 70. And it's going to keep going up by 1. If we said age is equal to 60.5, and run the uh, the increment, it just keeps going up by one. And if we wanted to do the inverse, we could decrease it by one. Why is this important? Because in the future, we're going to be getting into loops. Uh, loops will run code in basically until it hits something that says stop. 
And for us, sometimes that means it hits a certain number and increases by one over and over or decreases by one over and over until it hits like zero or a specified number. Now, loops will do this for us automatically, but there is a reason that we want to do this manually. And it's because sometimes we're in a loop and we want to keep track of something else. How many objects are applicable when you loop through an array uh, of words like the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog? We split that into individual words and we loop through each word. If that word is um, dog or if that word is four letters or less, maybe increase a number by one over and over again. If that didn't make sense to you now, that's fine. Uh, we're going to be going over things like that in the future. It's not as complicated as I probably made it seem. Now let's look at assignment operators. Assignment operators are, uh, yeah, let's clean this off, and let's say num1 is equal to 10, num2 uh, num is equal to 15. What if we said num1, uh, if we just wanted to add, I don't know, 25 to num1, we would say num1 is equal to num1 plus 25. Well, that's no use. When we could really just write num1 plus equals 25. Now the reason for that is because num1 was the number 10. We said plus is equal to 25. And if we type num1 again, it has assigned it. So not only did it do the addition for us, but it also said num1 is whatever the, the total is going to be here. Now we can do the same thing. We can say num1, but on the inverse, and minus a number. So let's minus, uh, not 35, let's minus a bigger number. Let's minus 54. Num1 is now minus 19. And if we type the variable again, we know that num1 has been reassigned to be minus 19. Now you can do these assignment operators with uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. All you have to do is add the operator in front of the equal sign, and it automatically assigns the value of whatever it's going to be to that, to that variable for you. So now we have math on one line. So instead of saying, you know, num1 uh, is equal to uh, 10 plus 25 like we did before, what we're going to say is num1 is equal to plus equal to 25. Now we know num1 is currently minus 19. Do this again. And what we have is 6. Minus 19 plus 25 is 6. We type in num1, we have 6. So there's not really too much more we can go over with this, uh, but it really just makes your, it makes your math a little cleaner. And uh, really only do this for basic math. Don't, don't try doing this uh, for anything that's, you know, outside of your, your basic operators. If you have to do things in a certain order, I like bedness, uh, bed mass, brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. Um, again, that kind of math you don't really need to remember right now. Then, then do it uh, in line. Your math can also have parentheses in it. So if we did 12 plus 20 uh, divided by 2 minus 1 plus 4. I totally made that up. Hit hit enter, and we get whatever that answer was supposed to be, 19. But what this was doing is uh, the rule of Bedmas. Now in the next lesson, we're going to talk about comparison operators. Comparison operators, this is how programming is done. If something is true or false, really it comes down to quite Boolean things, or if one number is bigger than the other, take some sort of action. Those are comparison operators, we're going to get into those. That also comes with if else statements. As of right now, the only homework that I think you should, you should do call it a mini project or whatever you want, uh, is just open up your console here and just do some, some basic math. Just figure out how this works. You don't have to do anything super complicated, but try this, try the, uh, the addition operator, right? 12 plus 58. It threw me uh, an error because invalid left hand side in assignment. That means this is not uh, a variable, but if we said variable num is equal to 12 and we said uh, 12 plus 58, it gives us a number. So just play around with things like that. Feel free to get errors like this. And whenever you do get an error, Google it. Google is a great source of information. Stack Overflow has a ton of, of questions for you. Again, being a great developer is knowing when to Google things.
if you get stuck, we have a, a giant Facebook group full of developers who are, you know, at your position all the way up to the senior level who can definitely help you as well.